Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land. Here we are, we're in December in the midst of a cold winter. We had a bit of snow overnight, but thankfully nothing has settled yet. Uh, what we're going to do first of all is sell some products that could do with selling in December. So, the maple syrup, mush mushrooms, not mushrooms, some no flour. The oils, eggs, and some bread that we got. So, obviously, the bread we got from the, the corn flour and also the other flour we're doing in the greenhouses. And that's actually coming out really well at the moment. So far, we've had another paddy of clothes. What we need to do is actually get the John Deere front loader, take some wool over. Because I'm sure the f production needs some more wool in that. But yeah, overall it was actually working out well. Make, look, um, we're going to make a lot of money in April in terms with the clothes and that. But for now, ooh, nope. Don't do that. It's 54 grand. Come on, I'll go to. There we go. Well, free, just turn. Another 8 grand. Still got some eggs on. Yeah, this is why I hate using this trailer, it's very finicky. That's it. Yes, and no maple syrup being accepted. So until now we're at 95 grand. Plus whatever we're going to get from the maple syrup. That's another 2 grand. And that is working out very well. Yeah, it may not be as much money compared to the other productions, but overall still making money. And I think today is the day we get working on the ultimate bathing setup. We've got a few stuff over here ready. Not going to do it quite yet, maybe not in this episode. But basically we're going to cut a lot of these trees down here. Send whatever it needs to over that sawmills. And the rest of this we're just going to sell. Because we still got, in terms of our forestry area, we still have the bit on 49. So this bit here, so if we look at, go there. So we've got a few big trees and that, and that will keep us going until we get another plot of land. Well, actually, technically, we get another plot of land now if we really want to and get all this cut down this is going to be our future supply of timber till our tree starts growing because in between episodes I've gone back over here obviously I decorated it over but as you can see we got a bunch of saplings quite bunched up together actually until all that was 265 trees if I'm remembering right yeah, 265, we plan 284. For the other 16, what we've gone and done is just plant some trees here and there. So, really, the main ones, actually, I think it's the only ones if I'm remembering right, is all the way along here. So, you can see saplings along here, one there, another one there. So, we have some trees growing right next to the sawmill. And that will create that sort of natural barrier, a little buffer between the sawmill and the fields. So, obviously if it's role playing or real life, it will have a buffer between the fields and the sawmill and vice versa. For when anyone's working in the fields, i.e. us or the workers. So, that's going to go over there. And I just noticed we missed some more grass over here. And because obviously we skipped to December, can't plant any more grass, not until spring, so... But um, yeah, I'm adamant we'll keep this as our grass field. 
at the end of the day, I think, personally. That's just me. Ooh, some more pallets. So that is soybeans. Potatoes. Huh? Where are we getting potatoes from? Because we're not getting potatoes from these, right? No, corn, soybeans, yes. Ah, bugger it there. Accidentally enabled. Well, you know what, it's fine. But look at the water, it has not touched the water at all. And this one, which is at the farm, does need 18,000 litres of manure still. But it's barely touching it. That's the last thing. Barely touching it. But regardless, we're going to go over here because... What did we come over here for? I forgot. Ah, just remembered the wall. That was it. Just remember to get the wall over here, so came in the right direction, but just without the wall. And our cows, not cows, our sheep, are going through that feed quite well. Down to three bells, so that's a barely anything left. That's just been touched, and that one's just halfway through nearly. So yeah, definitely gonna need. I think those hay bells there is fine for the sheep and that. And actually, we, speaking of cows, we can use hay to feed the cows. It's not going to really affect too much, just... I think it's things like milk production that it has an impact on, but besides from that... Nothing else. There we go, let's grab that. So this is 4,000 litres of wool going in to the farm supply production. But yeah, today's the day for our ultimate mowing session. Oops, careful. There we go, that's gone in. Tons of flour being produced in that, so... Yeah, wheat, oats, sorghum, corn flour. In terms of fabric, got a little bit there at the moment. Just sent the wool over, it's got the cotton. So it's slowly getting its way through. But now, it's time to have a little look at this. So let's see how all this works. This is all part of the ultimate mowing bundle. Or the ultimate What was the name of it again? Oh, I forgot. So go down to the bottom. Ultimate mowing and bailing pack. That was it. Obviously the bailer ain't part of this. That is the quick bail. But it still should work fine. In theory. So I think we'll test on the small fields first of all. Okay, we're doing slice bells as well. Ah, uh, wait a minute. We need some slice additive. Let me start out a sec. So we'll quickly do a jump cut, get some additive in, and we'll be back with the mowing. And that is that. That is the additive added in. Man, I do not leave myself a lot of room to start mowing here. Let's start... Let's, yeah, let's go and turn around. So... Unfold you. Unfold you. Let's turn you on. Turn you on. Unfold you first of all, then. Okay, now that's on. And that's on. So, be there. 
working with on a bell size 187 meters check and the wind rower is set to swath three point hitch up so I think that's how it's supposed to be we'll have a little look so there we go just about getting this done not needing anything behind getting a good swath in that in and we're only just at the horsepower part remember that like, it's doing well actually no complaints so far how it handed turn in turns a bit of like a boat as expected but as far as so for that, it's actually working out quite well. And we got our first size bell. There we go, let's wrap it in a nice green wrap. That's one down and many more to go. So if I had to guess of how many bells we'll get done, let's, start, let's finish with do the headland first, or half the headland, and then I'll guess, so... We're at two bells now. Full hesitant, that'll be easily four and a half. So, oh, it's always guess. I'll say 55 bells until we're due. All in all, 55 bells. Hopefully, it's more than that, but rather. Under guess and over guess, so I'm less disappointed in the end. Yeah, that's the third bell there coming through. So, yeah. Get about 35 to 40 from this field, and then I'll say about 15 from this field. Yeah, 55. Let's stick with that. So, yeah. That is looking good. Setup is alright, I guess. Bearing in mind that we could be mowing at what's the top speed of these mowers? Eighteen miles an hour. Could have gotten that. Get the worker doing that whilst we win row. Because we could win row and What's it bell at the same time, just using different tractors. Or just go with the big big swaffer and just do it that way, but Yeah, I don't know, but regardless, we're gonna finish this off, get this all done, and then next time we'll see each other is when this is done and ready to be put on the trade, ready to be sold to the <laughs>
bells I think this one is. And funny enough, we were bang on our target. Well, what I said, 55 bells. We was a bit short on the first field. We had like 12 or 13 bells. But all in all, in the end, we got 55 bells. I am happy with that. So what I was going to do for now is dump this. There. Take full. Uh, yeah, we will find proper storage for these at some point, but for now, ah, they're, they're all good there. So we need need more hay nets. Got a ton of silage, which we may sell a lot of them. If anything, actually, we may sell all of it because the cows, if we do get them next year. They can have silage, just not silage, hay, just fine. So, yeah, why not just feed them hay? Does require need more hay now, obviously, but. Now, nah, we'll leave you there. Got John Deere 8410 here at the D ship, because we do need some more manure. But, uh, perhaps just a bit too much. It was about. 19,000 zeros we need for the greenhouse for the one we missed the first time. But, anyways, that's fine. Just get it all topped up. And surprisingly, how longly that is. So, that means it's very profitable. If it's things like manure and that you need a lot more of, that's fine with us. Things like the seeds, the fertilizer. Yeah, they're quite expensive. Well, fertilizer for us is cheap, we get a discount now. Price, so... Was it a thousand pounds for five thousand litres or something like that? So... That's why I'm not going to sell any of the fertilizer we buy, because I can be seen as a bit cheaty. Sort of, but... Any news? So we go... I'm pretty sure these will barely need anything. Well, little bits here and there, so... I should have done with getting a bit more manure, but you know what? Best to have plenty than to have none at all. Or best to not have many than none at all. But yeah, it'd be interesting how this works in with the harvester now, because if we can empty the harvester on the go with this, then, what, well, a lot easier compared to our other tray, wherever that's to. Then we know for sure it is the tray that's causing an issue. If not, it's combine. And that is all of that. But also, what I've done is I've changed a few things with the productions in terms of what I've distribution or storing so things like the maple syrup we're going to set that to distribute for now because they're not going to be at their best price until what February I think it was I last checked so actually, speaking of which oh another month yet before sorghum's at its best price Oats. Ooh. Oats are at their best price now. Let's go and sell those. But yeah, we'll do that in a sec. Should be not really worth getting fussy over that. Seeds. Well, we can sell something if we want to, but. Lime, yep, not going to touch as well. Especially with the lime, we can do with a lot of that down the road. And I completely went past it, didn't I? Maple syrup. So yeah, February into March. 4,300 or so. Still got a bit more price to go up. But yeah, just noticing the price for the oats. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure we could feed our chickens the sorghum, can't we? 
Well, it says green, so I'm sure. And since it's only a thousand years at a time, what's the smallest trailer we can buy? Now for three and a half grand. Why any cheap modded ones? That's a fixed axle. Nope, that's a swivel one. Oh, well, is there a sap? Well, it says capacity of 60,000 years. Ah, I guess that's 60 bells, but nine grand for that. That should be quite good for us, I think. There's a small trader in that. Or there is that. Just something so that we don't need to have a big trader over there at all the time to keep the chickens fed. Just a trader that can be used as a little storage. So, oops. Because if we've got 50,000 years of oats, what is the best price for them at, at the moment? Where to? Thirty four hundred at the farm shop, so you know what? I will take that. I'm still gonna need to make two trips regardless, so even if we use uh what's it our other trader, which is what forty one thousand years. And actually what was it use market? Oh flat The platinum tail terror track. That's potatoes. Potatoes. If it was sugar beet, then I'd be more tempted with that. But, but at least now, what we know for sure is after this first load, we can buy the new cedar. So there we go. There goes the Utes. Anyway, so making the prices right. Oh, shite. Also, I was wondering why the prices was high for that, for these. Why did I sell on easy? Okay, that was a mistake before I realised that. Unless I must have done it when I was messing with. I don't know, one of these settings, perhaps, but... Ugh, how much was that? 1500, so... Try to do the math quickly. Let's say half a tray load. So, 15,000 litres at 1500. That is... About, what, 22 and a half grand? You know what? We can do that. We can penalise ourselves on that. So it's about half of it. Twenty-two and a half. Find the combine. A bit more expensive. You know what? A twenty grand penalty. I'm happy with that. That's fair. And we'll just return that. And as if nothing happened. But yeah, I was like, why is it for 3,000? <laughs> yeah, 3,400. I was like, it's a, at the end of the day, it's a grain crop. It's a high yielded cereal, well, grain crops. So they do tend to go for cheaper prices. Oh, don't. Did we have that on when we sold everything we were on that sort of episodes? Ah. Uh, I don't think so. It doesn't help, I can't remember because I'm recording this on Friday night in Saturday when I first started this the day before, Thursday into Friday. So, yeah, it's been about 24 hours since I first started recording this episode. Just. Ugh. Oh well. At least we caught it in that, so. 
That's something, I guess, in all of itself. But yeah, just again, myself with a crop cander. Absolutely nothing we can do till March. February we can do if we re really want to sell something then, but. I think, yeah, it's already worth it. But anyways, we should get about 25 grand for this. Oh, ouch. Wait, the price is still going up. It says it's going down. A1. Let's fast forward time a bit, why not? A6. Yeah, because look at that, its peak is 1980, 1985, guess it's readjusting all the time. Oh, okay. There we go. Just start to go down. Yeah. So I went up to 2108. Bit of extra money for us. We can always deal with the cash, so no complaints there. And 26 grand. Chickens, they need food, so we'll quickly feed them. May skip into January and just see what happens. There we go, they're fed. These mushrooms and flowers. Which one is it best to sell? I can't remember. I think it's the flowers it's worth selling now. Oh, I'll wait till January for those. December. Man, it's at its rock bottom price at the moment for mushrooms. 2264. 2217. Ouch. So. Let's bring not that one. Let's bring the John Deere over. Hopefully you can see still right folks. Yeah, this is why I don't really tend to record at night. It's just because I don't know what here. Let's go ignore that. Now it's facing back, we'll face it forward. But yeah, it's just with the light work and that, and it's hard to, for me to judge while I'm recording it, because it seems fine. But that's because i got 4K HDR and that, so... But I think by the time it gets it exported and that, and it gets its final edit done on my software on the PC for uploading it to YouTube, it just seems to lose... Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it just seems to lose some of its... It's hard to describe it, but anywho, we'll get these move out of the way. Oof. Don't do that. Four thousand liters. We'll move these here, and as long as we don't hit the pad limit quickly, I do you want to keep these until March at least? Uh, I may be forced out of that option there. These, we could just drag them across. And you know what? I'm just going to skip forward the night because I want to get as much of these as possible. Will it have enough water though? Oh, I don't think it will. Tanker's here. 
sort that out. Please tell me they are full. in there and then the rest in here there we go they should be fine now 25,000 years yep I'm happy with that and let's just get the rest of these moved and then we'll skip until the morning I think there we go that's them um, moved and yeah, let's just skip till the morning. Let's get a bit of shot eye. 7 a.m. Just in time before we hit the. Because they got like a 2,000 a year. <coughs> two, or two, basically two pallets reserve in there, so. Well, that they can carry. I mean, that space. Oh. That's because my phosphorus was in the way, perhaps. Anything in the used market? Uh, I've already got one of those, thank you very much. I haven't had a better deal on that. Already got one of those, but thanks. So, yeah, I don't think we've hit the pallet limit yet, have we? I'm not sure. So, now let's look at the prices. Oh, sorry for the container for the flowers. Best price for them is in May, so... Actually, is it worth... I'll go, I want to do a test quickly. What I'm going to do is save the game. With the whole pallet and storage updates that the Giants did, will they accept these flowers and mushrooms? Or is it just base game and the platinum DLC stuff they will accept. So where'd be under two buildings? Silos, bell and pallet storage. Oh you know what? Oh three grand. How bad is the terrain? Yeesh bad. That is bad. Uh, bad indeed. So if we go to landscaping, soften the terrain if you can. So now it picks it up, so try to do that. Hmm, interesting, didn't know that. But there'll be a better space for this anyways if we do this properly, so So what I want to do is grab let's say two thousand years of mushrooms and where they go to here. Right, they will. Okay, okay. That is an option for us. Obviously, we're hitting the barrier, but you can see. So, let's grab a couple of these, just to do a bit of a mixed bag. Okay, I, d I did think it was only the like, base game stuff or maybe some body stuff that was out before this came out so but well, this did come out before but uh, you know what I just want to see flowers ok 
Okay, that is looking good. Obviously, we ain't gonna leave it there because there's a tree growing. Now, if that fully grows, it's gonna go through the roof. So, on that note, I think that's where we're gonna leave it today. So, next episode, we'll look at getting everything potentially sold that we need to sell. Have a look at getting a new planter in. And definitely getting this installed or a modded version of the pallet and storage or bells and pallet storage. So, because yeah, that is looking actually quite nice at 250, and that's for bells or pallets, well, or bells and pallets combined. So, not 250 bells, 250 pallets, but still. 29 grand, I ain't a bad price, so that's where I'm going to leave it today obviously you won't see this in the next episode I've saved the game and I'm going to leave and not save this because jeez, that is ugly, that placement perhaps we could actually before we go I'm going to have a quick look now here is actually a good area I was like but obviously we are going to clear up this forestry, so... On this day, so I was going to do that in the next episode, so... A couple things to do between now and March. Also... Plot of land. Okay, again, let's be hypothetical. Because I'm testing things on camera here, so... Let's say we got that. How would that look if we... Is there going to be any awkward collisions? If we do that... Come on, let me do it just now. Actually, that, that's looking good. It tucks into the back of this. Obviously, we have to plow down here a bit. Or perhaps we can just carve this out and do that. Just carve out, make a track around, perhaps. Ooh, a few things to ponder, so... On that note, that's where we're going to leave it today, on a little bit of a bombshell. Not bombshell or cliffhanger or a bit of both. A bomb hanger, cliff shell, well, I don't know, I'm just making things up now. But, anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for choose to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Stream. And I'll see you all uh, very soon.